The hour of great mercy. Together, you expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water. Which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. 
On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In
sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on 
Let us pray. Eternal God, people mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Look kindly upon us, and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself. A prayer to divine mercy. O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God, and it is through this mighty voice of misery that it cries out, Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of these earth exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, anticipate us with your grace, and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and at death's hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the dust of our salvation's enemies, that we may with confidence as your children await your final coming that they belong to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus, in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope, through his merciful heart, as through an open gate, we pass through to heaven. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Saint Faustina, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
mercy to earth reflections for the poor, the ill, the unborn, the migrant, and the forgotten. Eternal Father, we acknowledge that we are one single human family. There are no frontiers or barriers, political or social, behind which we can hide. Still less is there room for the globalization of indifference. Laudato C. 52. And so we pray for our brothers and sisters deprived of worldly needs, those ill in mind, body or spirit, and those forgotten or abused by the powerful. We pray that they will know the merciful support of their family, their neighbours, their community, their economies and their governments. Heavenly Father, May the weak of the world feel your constant embrace. May they know your divine mercy, O Lord, and may they, like us, be forgiven for all sins committed to the temptations of sufferings. This is Daily Reflections on Divine Mercy from My Catholic Life. Today's reflection is entitled, Severity postponed. It's important to know that Jesus has every right to bring forth his justice here and now. He has every right to be severe with us on account of our sins and to bring eternal judgment upon us. This truth is often forgotten on account of his mercy. But we should never forget this fact. It's important to remember this because unless we understand the absolute right that God has to execute swift and irrevocable judgment on the world, we will never understand that his restraint is an act of immeasurable mercy. The Mother of God is especially entrusted with the responsibility of praying for his mercy and pleading on our behalf that her son's wrath be withheld. God gave to her this responsibility of intercession for us, and he listens to those prayers. He also calls each one of us to pray for mercy in the world, and though our prayers are not as powerful as the Mother of God, they can be if we place them in her immaculate heart. Giving our Blessed Mother our prayers magnifies their power and transforms them into an instrument of unfathomable grace holding back the hand of the justice of God. Do you understand the right that God has to bring sudden and severe judgment upon you? That may not be pleasant to think about, but it's important to understand. Ponder this fact today. Believe it and know that he withholds his judgment on account of his mercy. Seek the prayers of our Blessed Mother this day and offer her your own prayers. Through your prayers, offered through her intercession, God's justice is withheld and his mercy will be bestowed in our time. Let us pray. Dearest Mother, I offer you this day all my prayers, works, and sacrifices, so that you may in turn offer them to your Son. Please pray for me and for all your children that the justice of your Son will be withheld as his mercy is poured forth. Jesus, I trust in you.